Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lydia in case you're stopping by for the first time and if you're not new, thank you so much for coming back to my video. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing the um, 20 minutes going out with Bay makeup. I said something like that in my video where, okay, you guys are chilling and you're just like, oh, let's go see a movie and you have to do makeup like sharply. You can decide to rock your natural face, but like, I'm not sure what I'm going to call this tutorial yet, but that makeup that you get done in under 15 20 minutes like you're not doing eyeshadow you're not even doing contouring cream contouring all that good stuff i might not talk as long so that you guys don't see the video being cut up a lot and you don't say oh um that's how or oh, why did you cut up the video it's not it didn't take 20 minutes i'm going to try my best to talk through as quickly as i go so it might seem like i'm rushing because usually when i'm doing my makeup i'm not talking to anybody i'm probably watching a movie on netflix or on youtube and all of that so if you like to see the look we come up with very simple very easy you need minimal products for this look guys please keep on watching also give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel it will mean the absolute world to me and let's get into the video guys so guys to start the video up i've already applied my sunscreen and everything i'm going to go ahead and put my mirror where i can see it so the primer i'm using is from zaron and i'm just going to go ahead and um apply it all over my face so the trick with this makeup is to just have like an even complexion my phone just made some noise <laughs> um so the trick to this is to have an even complexion um without looking like cakey and what i like to do these are my weapons of choice this is what i'm going to be using this is fawn and this is chestnut and this fawn this 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 chestnut shade is my shade my skin tone shade so i just use it to just carelessly in quotes cover up my face and you want to do your um foundation and highlight in one swoop because there's no time to blend out a whole different bunch of colors i just focus this stuff on places i have issues with um and then i go in with fawn and i put fawn in like my highlight area don't worry there's a method to my madness so just pay attention guys so this phone as well i carry it up to my eyebrows so i'm just going to blend everything out um if you see me cut out some parts in this video just maybe me talking to my assistant or something but this video is pretty much going to be long and like straightforward not cutting it up and down like the other ones where i talk a lot so you can see how the perimeter of my face is already looking blended and smooth i'm just going to go ahead and do that you see how i'm blending the foundation in quotes that is why i use this concealer because it gives me my Full coverage without giving without giving me a lot of trouble and I'm just going to go ahead and blend out the inner corner and the under eye as well now I'm taking this above like up to my brow you can see how that highlighted that place in one one um, motion I'm just going to go ahead and do that for this side as well. So this is how my skin work is going to be. For bronzer and all that stuff, I'm going to add it. Not really even all that stuff, just bronzer. I'll add it. I'm not going to do a cream contour, that's what I'm trying to say. And for this step, you don't want a lot of powder, so I'm not going to set my usual way of putting a lot of powder on I'm using the Huda Beauty Blondie by the way like my absolute favorite powder in this world I use this to kind of mimic a um, cream contour underneath my chin even though I don't want that look a lot and then now for my contour I'm using this I'm using this from Fenty Beauty and I'm just going to go ahead and place that everywhere. I didn't 
contour contour but this is just a very beautiful finish so guys I'm just going to take that and also do my nose I wouldn't usually do this when I'm doing a um, normal face because of how red this stuff is but right now I really I really want to minimize the amount of products I'm using so you see how I've set my eyes already usually I wouldn't set that with powder because of primer and all of that but see I'm going in with that bronzer to kind of define my eyes just my crease that's all then I'll apply highlighter in the middle when I'm applying highlighter and that will just give you a very lovely look um, so for the next step I'm going to dust off all of this I'm using my Zaron powder such a beautiful like this is why I travel with all the time you can see how it it's already done if I don't have like an event event to go to I'm, I usually go to ABD all the time um, but I just go there to relax so if I don't have an event I'm going to I just go ahead and pack very lightly you can see I've just used only two things for my um, face so for my brows you want to try and slow down for this step because if you mess it up it's going to waste your time to try and figure it out I'm going to try and do this in one step and I, I use my Davis brow pen so I know this is what I use for my on the go brows very natural brows I don't even need to conceal them So that is what the brows are looking like. I'm going to brush it through with a spoolie just to kind of get the brow gel to mix into place with it. Not brow gel, brow pencil to mix into place with the hair. Rush, rush on the gold brows. I really love this bonnet. Like, if you guys don't know how to take care of your natural hair like me, this bonnet helps protect your hair from like the harsh conditions right now like you know rubbing your hair against pillowcases bed sheets is not so good um, for your hair the friction makes your hair cut and all of that so this bonnet is lined with like a satin finish and it helps protect my um, it helps protect my my hair so this is what the eyebrows are looking like so far because of the perfectionist in me, I'm going to just take a bit of a bit of um, fun. I'm not even going to put down a brush. That's how sharp sharp this makeup is. I'm just going to use that applicator. And I'm just going to blend that out. You can use your finger for this step actually, but Okay, let me try to do that and show you. But because my nails is fixed, that might not be such a success. So, let me just go ahead and use the brush. But if your nails are short, these fingers is going to be amazing. Like, using it to blend out that. I'm going to go into my um, Fancy Beauty Mocha Mami. And then I'm going to just apply that there for highlighter I love this one from Anastasia like if you pay attention I show you guys in all my videos I'm going to use that to apply my highlight as well the brush I just used to blend off guys like this highlighter is the truth I just place it pretty much everywhere such a pretty color I'm going to use the other brush I was using to apply the bronzer in my crease. Okay, these brushes are not helping me. What is my Morphe M501? I'm going to use this. I feel like this brush goes well with this highlighter. Apply it to my forehead. So 
So with all my talking, this video is already on 14 minutes from when I said hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So you can tell that the makeup is fast. So the next step will be to do the lips. I love to do lips before lashes and I know it's ratchet but I'm using my Davis brow pencil. Because most times I forget to pack a lip pencil. I like to mix these two. This one is from Tease Cosmetic. Such a pretty, like nudish orange. My go to look all the time is nude or a nudish orange. Nowadays. And then I'm going to go in with clear gloss. And that's it. Okay, sorry, that's not it. Mascara. This mascara is from Zaron Cosmetics, by the way. Zaron is amazing, guys. Like, don't sleep on Zaron. Their products are bomb.com. And that's all. I'm not going to cut this, so you see how quick that is. This is what the eyes are looking like so far. I'm done with my makeup. To set it, I'm going to go in with this. Like, I didn't use foundation, and look how good my skin is. For my hair, I'm using my fringe. Like, another thing that can waste time is if you're trying to lay your hair and do all those plenty things with your hair. Like lay it down, it's got to be glue or glue, all of that. Like just get a hair that is easy to rock and you should be good to go. So this is it guys, that's the finished look. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I didn't cut it like, I didn't cut it at all. Um, so yeah thank you so much for watching this video up until this point in case you enjoyed it or you have any more questions let me know give me a thumbs up please very important subscribe to my channel it will mean the absolute world to me i'm actually in a hurry to go out now so i'm going to see you lovelies in my next video bye